डिस्कशन वी हैव विद अस डॉक्टर प्रद्युम्न रेड्डी कंसल्टेंट इंटरवेंशन रेडियोलॉजिस्ट एट अपोलो हॉस्पिटल जुबली हिल्स हैदराबाद डॉक्टर प्रद्युम्न रेड्डी हैज सेवन इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन परफॉर्मिंग मिनिमली इन्वेसिव प्रोसीजर्स लाइक यूट्रीन फेब्रोइ ट्रीटमेंट ही हैज बिन ट्रेन इन इंटरवेंशनल रेडियोलॉजी इन सिंगापुर एंड मुंबई वेलकम डॉक्टर टू आर फेसबुक लाइव सेशन गुड आफ्टरनून व्यूअर्स सो स्टार्टिंग विथ आर क्वेश्चन So, doctor, could you please brief our audience? What is uterine fibroid embolization? Uterine fibroid embolization is a minimally invasive technique in which we use catheters to close the arteries that go to the fibroid within the uterus, thus reducing the blood supply. So, these fibroids eventually shrink and wither away. So, the problem gets solved that way. So, doctor, usually, what are the symptoms of uterine fibroids? usually increased bleeding during menses uh, increased uh, frequency of the urine pressure symptoms constipation uh, vague back pain thigh pain all these constitute towards the symptoms usually we attribute these to some other problem that we usually uh, find in our daily lives like back pain because of the disc or something so most of the patients that uh, have uterine fibroids do not usually know because one in three women usually have uterine fibroids and about 30% of these patients only have symptoms so doctor how successful is uterine fibroid embolization uh, it is more than 95% uh, successful basically these patients do not tend to develop uterine fibroids again Okay, so doctor, uh, like, do we have any particular causes of uterine fibroid embolization? Uh, there is no exact particular cause, but uh, increased hormonal production, especially the estrogen and progesterone, during the reproductive age in a woman's life, cause these fibroids to grow in the uterus. So coming to our so next question, so doctor, what are the side effects of uterine fibroid embolization? Uh, there are no side effects as of uterine fibroid embolization. A few patients might just experience a mild amount of pain after the procedure that usually subside within a day or two. So usually how long does it take to recover from uterine fibroid embolization? Uh, it takes about a day to recover from uh, uterine fibroid embolization and you can usually return to work in about three days time. Normally, women tend to experience a little bit of weakness in the first day after the procedure and they are normally okay by the third day and you can get back to your regular routine by the end of second or third day at the most. So doctor, could you please explain the process of embolization? Uh, the procedure of embolization usually starts by accessing an artery in the groin, usually the proximal part of your right or your left leg. So we tend to get into that artery and then we pass a very small wire over which we put in a catheter. A catheter is a very minute tube that goes inside the arteries and these, uh, this catheter is then uh, navigated into the uterine arteries which supply the fibroid. Then we close those arteries on both sides and then usually what happens is when you cut off the blood supply to the uh, fibroid they usually tend to reduce in size over a period of time. Usually they go down in size by about the end of the first month. So doctor, do fibroids grow back after an embolization? Uh, less than 2% chance of fibroid coming back. The same fibroids never come back to their original size, but you can tend to develop new fibroids. But these newer fibroids do not grow to the larger one, uh, larger sizes because we have reduced the flow to the uterus. So the chances of developing new fibroids is quite less and the extent is also quite less. And uh, these fibroids are uh, usually smaller in size and do not cause significant symptoms to cause mandate any treatment later. So doctor, what are the signs of the fibroid shrinking? The signs is reduced symptoms basically. So if you have had 
increased bleeding during a menstrual period that usually tends uh, to settle and reduce by the next period if you have increased frequency of urine usually that comes back to a normal rhythm where you can hold your urination for a longer period of time and the back pain and the vague thigh pain usually go away by the fourth day or the third day after the procedure so doctor usually what is better a hysterectomy or an embolization uh, usually a uh, uh, uterine artery embolization is much better than a traditional hysterectomy hysterectomy involves the remo- complete removal of the uterus uh, when you remove a uterus it is usually involving a uh, surgery and admission for a few days in the hospital and what ensues over a period of time is you tend to develop hormonal changes because of the removal of uterus not only the scar the post op pain and all that a uterine embolization does not involve a scar there is no suture there is no cut it is just a single prick with a needle and then we do the entire procedure and you are discharged on the very next day and you can get back to your normal routine by the next uh, i mean probably by the second day after the procedure so comparing both the results uh, a hysterectomy was traditionally preferred when these newer procedures were not available and uterine artery embolization is being done for almost 20 years now and has a very good success rate that is over 95% and very very minimal side effects there is no scar there is no suture and just a single needle prick so coming to our sir audience question so doctor does uterine fibroid embolization cause infertility uterine artery embolization does not cause infertility per se but your tendency to conceive after a uterine fibroid embolization is slightly lower because when you block the arteries the ovaries which produce the egg for fertility the ten uh, the supply to the ovary is slightly lower but be it hysterectomy or myomectomy when you do a surgery the results are going to be the same and research articles have proven time and over that the results with fertility are almost the same with either the uterine fibroid embolization or with hysterectomy or myomectomy so can one have a baby after the fibroid embolization yes definitely there have been successful patients who have conceived after uterine fibroid embolization so doctor usually how many times can one have a uterine a uh, uterine fibroid embolization usually about one time is good enough but in case there is another a uh, fibroid that comes up totally unrelated to the first one you can do it at the second time as well because that supply to the artery will be different than the prior one so how long does the pain last after the uh, uterine fibroid embolization the pain is usually for the first few hours and with good amount of painkiller medication the patient should not have a lot of pain after the procedure uh, so doctor is bloating normal after an uh, uap bloating is not normal usually some people who have large fibroids tend to develop constipation and bloating as a side effect to the large fibroids so bloating previous to the procedure yes a lot of pa- patients do complain i am that they are having bloating because they have large fibroid but post procedure usually the bloating sensation should come down in a few days time so usually uh, what what ap- happens to the fibroid after an embolization usually the fibroid starts to shrink in size when you cut off the blood supply to the fibroid the fibroid is derived uh, deprived of its nutrients or the source to grow so basically they tend to decrease in size over a period of time and they usually wither off to a size where they are not usually a problem and the size usually goes down to almost uh, minuscule size by about 3 to 6 months after the procedure uh, so doctor are there any particular restrictions that one needs to follow after an uterine fibroid embolization there are no restrictions as such after your discharge from the uh, hospital itself 
during the uh, just after the procedure you are uh, taken care of in the hospital but after you go back home there are no restrictions you can do your daily work a uh, daily homework i mean household work and everything immediately when you are back home and you can get back to your normal work also by the next day so who is not a good candidate for this uh, uterine fibroid embolization uh basically when there is a fibroid on the wall of the uterus and extending into the abdomen what we call a subserosal pedunculated fibroid these patients are not usually an ideal candidate for a uterine fibroid embolization because we might think it might uh, get dislodged from the uterus and fall into the uh, abdomen this, this is the only condition where we think they are not a candidate and other problems are where they have previous uh, history of cancer which have uh, been uh, and they have been undergoing a lot of treatment like radiation and chemotherapy these patients are usually not an ideal candidate but it is on a case to case basis where we see and evaluate these patients and then decide so doctor does uterine embolization work on large fibroids as well yes i have done uh, uterine fibroid embolization for patients with fibroids over size of 15 cm also and they have had a significant reduction in their sizes and and their symptoms have gone down significantly as well uh, so how long does the post embolization syndrome last the post embolization syndrome usually lasts to uh, for about 3 to 5 days depends from person to person because a lot of per, uh, people tend to have a mild very mild vague kind of pain and some of them uh, do uh, develop some amount of weakness in their body so we usually ideally advise rest till up till 3 days and most of the patients after 3 days do not experience the post uh, embolization syndrome uh, so can a person lose weight after an uterine fibroid embolization Uh, uterine fibroid embolization technically doesn't help in reduction of the size i mean uh, helps in reduction of the size of the fibroid not in case of the weight but if it's significantly large fibroid which is adding to the person's weight yes maybe they do tend to reduce some amount uh, so doctor does the ufe cause hot flashes no the ufe does not cause any so uh how painful can this uh, procedure could be depends from person to person a few patients do not experience any pain at all some patients do experience some amount of pain for which we give them some amount of painkillers immediately post procedure and normally they do settle down by about 2 hours 2 or 3 hours post procedure uh so does this uh, uterine fibroid embolization cause early menopause uh not really but uh, there have been instances where you there is decreased amount of fertility but menopause as such is not a side effect or you attain menopause because of a uterine fibroid embolization so are there any uh, long term effects uh, after this uterine fibroid embolization there are no long term side effects because of uterine fibroid embolization because you preserve the normal blood flow to your the uterus uterus tend tends to have a lot of blood supply so we are just embolizing the fib uh, supply to the fibroid so long term side effects as such is not a uh, issue here at all and no long term side effects so coming to our last question so doctor could you please tell our audience about the facilities provided at apollo hospital jubilee hills hyderabad basically we have a world class cath lab with the advanced most softwares so we tend to take in very uh, complex cases also with apollo hospital being the number one hospital in hyderabad there is a world class uh, cath lab with a very advanced techniques in them so we tend to have a lot more uh, feasibility in doing these cases So uh, dear viewers we have come to the end of our session and hope we have covered all aspects if you still have more doubts you can book an appointment with dr pradyumna reddy and clarify your doubts thank you doctor for educating our audience in today's session thank you
थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस स्टे ट्यून फॉर मोर सच एजुकेटिव लाइव सेशंस नमस्ते